Hi guys, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project and right now in this video we're going to talk about hooking up a solar charge controller. Now here I have three different ones but we'll just simplify it and let's just take one at random. We'll take the TriStar since that's my main one anyway and what you got to do to connect a solar charge controller is always hook up the battery first. Before you do anything else with a solar charge controller connect the battery first. So I have the battery connections here coming out of here and go to a positive bus bar and the negative the positive goes to a positive bus bar the negative goes to a negative bus bar. Actually this one's even easier to understand because it's got little images. There's a plus and minus for your solar panel there's a plus and minus for your battery and there's a plus and minus for your power out, which I don't use, but there's your power output. If you wanted to have a uh, emergency cutoff for low voltage, you would use that. But since I have extremely high uh, current demands, I have and I have three charge controllers, I don't use that. But for simplification, let's just talk about connecting the solar panels and the battery to your charge controller today. So I've got my plus and my minus connection to the battery going out first. So a positive goes to the positive terminal and a negative goes to your negative terminal. And what I've done here is just run it to a big bus bar, but you could just run it straight from your negative to your negative of your battery bank, which we'll show you down below, and your positive to your few charge controller over through to your positive of your battery bank. And down here, I've got the negative hooked up over here to the negative terminal of the battery bank and on the opposite end the positive wire comes on down to the positive terminal of my battery bank. So just your plus and minus two wires, very simple. Going to your two wires of your charge controller. And then the next step would be hooking up your solar panels. So we'll be back later on that because I have to find, scrounge up some wire and uh, get them connected. Okay guys, back to the video on how to hook up the solar charge controller. In this case it's a MPPT, uh, Maximum Power Point Tracking, but that's a whole different video uh, for another time, so check out my video series on installing off-grid solar power. Now what I've done here is I've run two wires into my shop through the ceiling, and I'll go show you that outside. I've connected the solar panels, and I've run that through the wall here where there was a hole already and over to my three solar panels. So all I've done uh, in this case because it's an MPPT solar charge controller I connected the plus to minus to plus to minus and then the plus to minus outputs go into the wires. So what I'm doing is connecting my solar panels in series to give me a higher voltage combined. Okay so I'm getting about 90 volts total combined because I have an MPPT solar charge controller. If you have a normal, or what's normal, if you have a PWN or a lower cost solar charge controller, you would connect yours in parallel. Uh, connecting solar panels, maybe I'll do a different video on that as well one day because I want to keep this simple and for right now let's just say theoretically you've got one solar panel, you've got one set of wires coming in, and then you simply take, and I won't be able to hold the camera and show you, but I'm going to hook the red into the plus uh, connector here. Okay, see that? And then the black one into the minus connector here. All right, so I'll be back in a minute. You'll see how simple this is. Okay, guys, I got the plus into the one mark plus, the red one, and the black one goes into the one mark minus. And I have a happy light on by the solar panel sign. And looking here I have 2.9 amps coming in and 12.9 on the battery. So the battery was 12.6 so we are increasing charge and this is just the meter to display for this uh, charge controller here. So we're looking good. We do have power coming in. It is gloomy out there though so we're not going to have uh, much coming in today. 
And we've got, I had to disconnect one solar panel. We've got 51.5 volts coming in from two solar panels. Uh, one was not, uh, the connection was broken inside one. So I've got two solar panels connected, but we are charging the battery bank. So there you go. It's that easy to hook up a solar charge controller, especially with these little uh, symbols on there. Just be sure to connect the battery first, always, before you connect the solar panels. And the opposite is true when disconnecting. Always disconnect the solar panel wires first, and then the battery. That way you can never uh, damage your solar charge controller. Alright guys, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Talk to you later.